right now. WDSU meteorologist Daniel Graves taking a look at the forecast here locally. We've had um, kind of a mixed bag today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's it going to look like tomorrow for the game? Uh, I think things going to be a lot better. We did see mm -hmm. some rainfall across the area today and the shower is not out of the question. So if you are heading out before the Saints game tomorrow, you may need to keep that umbrella handy. But I think for the most part, uh, things are going to be dry for the end of our weekend. Here is a look though at some of those rainfall totals. These are since midnight and a couple of areas saw some heavy rainfall today. The lakefront and Slidell just under a half of an inch of rain over six tenths in the Bogalusa area area, even down near the coast. Boothville picking up a tenth of an inch of rainfall today. Now tonight things are quiet. Now we do do still have some cloud cover around the area, but for the most part expecting uh, that rain to have been moved out of the area for the rest of the night. As we look at the forecast for the Saints game taken on the Patriots at the dome at noon, partly cloudy skies, still a 20% isolated rain chance, otherwise going to be warm and humid, but the weather always good inside the Superdome. Quick check of the tropics and we are monitoring two new tropical storms from today, Lee and Maria and Maria is getting closer toward the Lesser Antilles, now 545 miles toward the east southeast and it's moving west at 16 miles per hour. Nothing much has changed with the newest update. Winds are still 50 miles per hour, but as we continue over the next 24 hours, it is forecast to become a category one hurricane, especially by Monday morning, making impacts across the Lesser Antilles and moving towards, say, the Puerto Rico area within the next three to four days, possibly as a major category three hurricane and then over Hispaniola by that fifth day of the forecast. And then a lot of the models want to turn this toward the north before it makes its way toward the Bahamas. So of course, we'll continue to monitor this track. The forecast can always change, and so we'll keep you updated on that. Right now, it poses no threat to being able to get into the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Storm Lee, however, uh, is not posing a threat to any land areas and is expected to weaken over the next several days as it continues to make its way off toward the northwest. And then the closest to the U.S. is Hurricane Jose, which is going to continue to make its way up the Atlantic coast and will bring the possibilities for rip currents and some high surf towards the eastern seaboard, but for the most part expected to make its way back out into the open waters of the Atlantic and doesn't pose any major impacts to the New England area. Our forecast overnight, not too bad of a night, still warm and humid, some cloud cover to start the morning, some patchy fog possible as well. Then as we go into the afternoon with daytime heating again, that chance for some pop up showers and thunderstorms. Otherwise, temperatures going to be quite warm into the upper 80s to low 90s, which is exactly what we saw today for our highs. Our average this time of year is 88 degrees, and so we're going to stay a couple of degrees above that over the next several days. Right now, temperatures into the upper 70s to the low to the mid 80s. Overnight, they'll drop into the low to the mid 70s with your daytime highs. Again, going to be right at about 90 degrees with the mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day. So looking at your seven day forecast, not too much in the way of rain for us the next seven days. A typical summer like pattern of afternoon showers. Otherwise, the warmth and humidity continues right up right up until the first day of fall at 90 degrees. Yep. <laughs>